Yeah, and John Cena too, right? Like you, you grew up watching. I grew up watching John Cena, but he wasn't my absolute favorite wrestler. Who was? Uh, Eddie Guerrero is my number one okay, wrestler, cool. but you know, John Cena is just the the standard that we look at as a WWE superstar. Mm. He's like someone that we need to surpass. So when I look at John Cena, when I, I well, when I how hear do you that look name, at John Cena? With, exactly. You can I, I see John even, Cena. I with the crystal power in my energy, mm -hmm. absolutely, I can Jeez. see John Cena. Right. You know, but that is crystal. just like a, a standard. You have John Cena. You have The Rock, and it's like. Where's the, where's that woman's name next to it? Yeah. Let's go. You know? so I love that. Like no, you're doing it, Sasha. It's so cool. And something I look at with the WWE is always I'm all, well, not just WWE, like anything. I'm always trying to like transcend. Yeah. Break the barriers. And you do stuff outside of the WWE as well. And I'm assuming you have some sort of five year plan to expand your arsenal, <laughs> right? You were, you already did. Uh, you were in the Mandalorian. Yes. Last season. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, some, wow. some, some, Crazy. some real Hollywood stuff. Yeah. Is more of this happening? Are you going to break out and become that superstar of the world? Uh, yes, I am. Let's go. Yes, I am. You know, it's, it's kind of really hard to do with the WWE schedule. I mean, when I shot The Mandalorian last year, it went from doing TV, doing live events, and then just getting on a plane, going to L.A., shooting all week, getting on a red eye, going back to TV, putting my hair in, taking my hair out <laughs> for three months. Mm. For three months. And it was just, Wow. So if I'm going to take over the world, it's like, I got to choose one or the other. And that's the hard part to think of because wrestling has been my life, my whole life. So when that time and that opportunity comes, it's like, I really have to, to sit back and think like, what's next, you know? Yeah. Is it full-time Hollywood? Is it full-time, you know, doing something else that I, I, you know, I have passions about? Or is it still being here and, and making more history and changing the game and leaving a legacy that's forever cemented but i feel like i've already done that mm, you, you know you, yeah. i feel like i'm already a hall of famer i already feel like i've done it all so it's like what is that last last legacy piece that i can leave here mm. i'm still searching for mm, it mm, mm. it's a big switch mm -hmm. and you're right you're right like everyone who is the best at what they do usually does that thing yeah a hundred percent so doing it both and trying to you know have this balance is tough but personally in hollywood for me it's it's a little it's it's a little much 